Welcome to your ultimate beginner's guide to the new complex in DMZ. We'll be covering everything such as how to get into the complex, all the entrances in our Mazra, puzzles in each spawn location, how to open the entire complex, the rhino boss fight, the sniper boss fight, the secret buy station, secret exfils, and the weapon case easter eggs. So sit back, get comfy, and let's do this. Now the first and most fundamental thing about the complex to understand if you don't already know is how to get into it. This is a new map, but you can't deploy into it from the main menu like a new map. You actually have to go into our Mazra and travel to one of the four secret entrances. Now, three of them are going to be marked on the map with a question mark, but a fourth isn't going to be marked. And because it's not marked, it will be a lot quieter than the three other locations. So the first entrance you can use is going to be under our Mazra city in the car park. You'll be going underground to the car park, opening the doors and then going underground to this wall where you'll see there'll be the entrance there to the complex. Another location is in the Rohan oil access tunnels where there's going to be quite a few AI to take out, but it's going to be a wall on the right. You're prone to crawl in and then there'll be the opening that will lead you to the complex. Third location is between Al Mazra City and Tarak Village under this bridge. And the secret fourth and quiet location is in the oasis in the top northwest part of the map. I highly recommend this as the entrance to take. If you follow the path that I'm doing here in the oasis, it will lead you straight to the area where you will find the entrance to the complex. Now the way it works is that you go up to these bunker doors and interact with it and there'll be a timer. Once it ends, whoever from the squad is in that area lock will be transported to the new map. After the loading screen, you'll be placed in the complex and you will have 30 minutes in there before the gas starts to come in, in which you'll then have seven minutes to exfil before it's too late. You'll need to complete to get out of the area you spawn in and to get into the next section of the map. During this first initial spawn into the complex, it will be purely a PVE experience. There will be no other real players. You won't come across them until you've completed the puzzle in that area, which will unlock to the next part of the map called the chemical plant, which is where you will encounter real players. Now, whilst trying to complete this puzzle, you'll find many small rooms that will have loot inside. One item you want to be looking out for is night vision goggles, as there will be three of them within that area, and all three players in the game will need it for the next part. Now, because there are four different entrances into the complex, there are going to be four different puzzles you got to solve in four different spawns. So I'll quickly break down all four of them for you now. You'll need to know them so that you can progress to the next part of the map. So feel free to use the timestamps to skip to the area that you are in in game. Firstly, if you took the Rohan oil entrance will spawn into an area called external ops. Take out a bunch of AI and make your way across the signposted areas till you get to this room. That will lead you to this door with another bunker door. And on the right on the wall, it will say that something is missing here. And you're going to need to find a car battery and jumper cables in this area. you will always spawn somewhere, so be sure to loot absolutely every part of this area to find both items. Place them on the wall, and then you'll be able to press this button that will allow you to enter the chemical plant. If you entered through the Almazra City car park, you will also have the same puzzle where you'll need to find a jumper cable and a car battery. And you'll be in an area called information extraction. There will also be quite a few AI as you make your way around, but again, you want to be looking for a jumper cable and a battery. You'll need to use them in this room here, where on the wall you place them again, just like you did for the last one, and then go ahead and press the button just to the left to open the bunker door. If you entered through the Oasis entrance that I recommend, you'll be in the Defense Research Division and you'll have a bunker door gas puzzle. In total, there'll be three different numbered doors that you need to open, and you'll be presented with a room with bunker doors that are open as well as gas, and in the room, there will be a button that you need to press that will close all the bunker doors, stopping the gas from flowing out of the doors and allowing you to progress to the next door. In the first room, you just need to press one of the buttons that will be on the desk that will be active. And when you hear a loud burr sound effect, that's when you know that you've done this correctly and you can go over into the next room. For room two, you'll need to press the button again, but there's a chance that there will still be one bunker door open that you'll need to manually close by going up to the valve next to it and turning it in order to close the door. Once all the doors are shut, you'll hear that same noise and that will let you go into room three. For room three, you're going to press the button, but there's also going to be a sentry gun as well as AI that will run at you with explosives. And once you've pressed the button and all the bunker doors are shut, there will still be one or two that you'll need to close manually. So be sure to do that and be sure to pick up the durable gas masks that the AI drop, the radiation block so you have more than enough time to go and close these bunker doors manually. But once you've done all three and the doors are open for you to go, you'll be going for a hallway and it will lead you straight to the bunker door where you can just press the button to go into the power plant. If you took the entrance under the bridge at Tarek Village, you will have a swimming puzzle in which all you need to do is just keep swimming along through these rooms and you'll find these red arrows on the wall that will lead you in the direction of where you need to go. Most of these rooms allow you to swim to the ceiling to get some extra air, but when you're going through to the next part of the rooms, you won't be able to do that. But eventually, it will 
will lead you to this area where you'll just run through a hallway and you'll be able to open the button to get into the chemical plant. Now we've caught you up to speed on all four locations. Let's talk about the chemical plant because this is a huge close quarters area which is in complete darkness. So you will need to put on night vision goggles. Unlike a field upgrade, these night vision goggles will be an item in your inventory that you have to open your backpack and then hover over and click toggle. You'll have to do that if you want to put the night vision goggles on and then take them off again. But if you don't have night vision goggles at this point, then the AI that you kill in the chemical plant have the chance to drop night vision goggles. Without night vision goggles on, this room is incredibly dark. So I would advise that if you don't have them, that your friends help you find some very quickly. There is one set objective within the chemical plant besides killing real players if they're there, of course. And that is in the middle of the map, there is going to be a hut which lights on inside and in some grates along the side of it, find a key sat on its own called the factory admin key. You absolutely need this because this is how you open up to the third part of the map. This is something that a lot of teams will be fighting over to try and get first because with that key, you're going to then run to the west side of the map. So look up at the coordinates on your screen and keep running west until you come across this building here that will say A1 or A2 as that is where you will use this factory admin key to open up to the next section of the map. Aside from that, the chemical plant also has the first exfil point. So if you want to leave the map at this point, then there are exfil points there. Because this is the central location where enemy teams will be opening to get into, there are doors which you can open from this side in the plant to open up to kill enemy players. They haven't managed to complete their puzzle yet, which is a very interesting thing. Now, aside from the factory admin, there is also another secret area in the chemical labs, which if you make your way to the east side, you'll be looking for this wall here that has vents either side and in the middle there will be a switch very similar to the puzzle that you did for the car battery and the jumper cable with a light bulb illuminating it saying that something is missing here so you will need to get a battery and jumper cable again to place it in here which will allow you to open up two separate bunker doors to the left and the right of where we place these in which will bring you into a new area called the alpha cluster within the alpha cluster there is going to be a ton of small rooms with lots of loot inside but you'll be presented with a sentry gun down the hallway so you need to make sure to take that out but once you make your way past that you will enter this absolutely huge huge area where you're going to have a ton of cartel ai to take out there will be a bunch of servers where you'll be able to find some very unique map items such as server tape this place is littered with traps so be sure to pay attention to the lasers and the sounds of traps that are laid around these servers there is tons of loot to find in here as well as a few secret puzzles there are two secret puzzle easter eggs in this room and i'm going to show you how to do both because they unlock secret rooms with amazing loot inside and once you know how to do these you can do this in just a few minutes the first easter egg is to unlock a new secret room in the alpha cluster called the server admin inside you'll find a ton of cash some loot drops and one of the secret blueprint parts i have a full video on that blueprint so if you want to know that it'll be linked below watch it after this video to open the secret room you're going to need to find three aq laptops and then bring them into the alpha cluster room you could bring these in if you find them in Almazra before you go into the complex. But if you spawn in from the Almazra City car park, you'll be in the information extraction where if you search all of the little rooms around this area, this is going to be the likeliest chance for you to find AQ laptops. And you need to find three of them. Once you have three of them and you're in the alpha cluster, up on these elevated platforms, you're going to find these racks of servers. And one side of them is going to have this loose wire. And there'll be a prompt for you to connect an AQ laptop and once you've done it will say server hacked one of three now I'm going to run across and then go to another server rack where you're going to find another loose wire now there are four of these in the alpha cluster but only three of them will activate which will have a loose wire so just keep running around looking around all the sides of all these different servers until you find them when you get the prompt to connect the AQ laptop just keep holding down. This will attract AI shooting at you whilst you're doing this. So just be wary of that. Make sure you have your teammates looking out for you. But once you've connected the AQ laptop to the third and final server, you'll get a prompt saying the server is hacked. And if you come over to this corner of the alpha cluster and mantle up, you'll now see this door will now say activate door. And then by opening it, you'll be in the secret room. You can have all the loot and get that blueprint part. For the second Easter egg, you're going to need to find the R4D detector, which you can find in the huts in the chemical 
chemical plant. Once you've got that, make your way to the complete opposite side of the alpha cluster room where you're going to find two sentry guns and some really difficult AI. So be sure to take them all out first. But once you've taken both out, you'll notice the sentry guns were blocking a door with a keypad. And if you hold your R4D detector at the keypad, you'll see there'll be a secret code of three Russian letters. Make sure you take a screenshot of that. But around the alpha cluster, there's going to be four different blackboards that you need to look at with your R4D detector and take a photo of because somewhere in this photo is going to have one of the three Russian numbers that you're going to need to use the schematic to work out. Somewhere in the image, there is going to be a number that links up to that alphabet letter that you're looking for. The first blackboard is right below the keypad. And in the middle of Alpha Cluster, if we go down here, you'll see we have another blackboard. So take a photo there. Just below this section, there is going to be another blackboard. So take a photo there. And on the opposite side of the room, there is also another blackboard, which will be the fourth one to so take a photo there. And what you need to do is very carefully inspect all four of those blackboard images, because somewhere you are going to see that there is going to be a number with an arrow pointing towards a Russian letter. Some of them are very big and obvious and others, they are very hard to see. So definitely pay attention and take a look. But you're going to be linking these Russian numbers in the order left to right from that code on the wall. The code will be different every single game you play. But for us, we knew that the second and third numbers were 0 and 9. So we just brute forced the first number. And eventually, we managed to work it out. And the secret room was unlocked. And inside there, you're going to find a guaranteed gold skull, as well as some more loot chests and another blueprint part if you haven't got it already. Definitely a very complicated Easter egg to have in DMZ compared to other maps, but that covers absolutely everything that you can do in Alpha Cluster. Let's now move on to the final big part of the map. But with the factory admin key and you've opened up this room, there'll be a hallway with a sentry gun in it, so you want to go ahead and take it out. And once you get past that, you'll be in a room called the factory admin. And there's going to be quite a few AI, but it's a low threat level. And down here is where you're going to find the shopkeeper on the map so there'll be a sign that says shop and if you follow it in it'll take it into a small office where you'll have two buy stations between the buy stations you'll also see there are notes posted everywhere where the shopkeeper has listed two items specifically around the map that if you find you can use to unlock the new secure buy station now this isn't necessary by any means but this will have some really good stuff for you to buy that you cannot get on any other map there's also some very unique barter recipes on this map compared to other maps as well so be sure to check them out but if you have any items you've looted that are valuable you can sell them to get yourself some ammo some armor plates as well because they are quite scarce but beware because at the opposite end of this room there are other sets of double blue doors which also contain hallways with sentry guns and that's where enemy teams are going to be coming in from so just beware of that but if you want to go ahead and tackle the two new bosses on the map then what you need to do is from factory admin jump through these open windows in the middle or take the staircase down to get to a new area called factory wing which will be this very enclosed area with a maze of sorts with a ton of AI where you need to get from one end to the other, fighting a load of tier three AI that spawn along the way. Once you've gone through there and gone up the stairs, you'll now be in the complete opposite side of the factory. But in the middle of the room awaits the first boss, the Rhino. This is a very armored up boss with a riot shield, shotgun, and melee weapons. But if you take in the KV broadside, you'll be able to take this thing down absolutely no problem at all, as you can see. If you want the build for the broadside, I'll show you at the end of the video. There'll be a lot of tier 3 AI that will spawn alongside this rhino, so be very careful. But once you've taken it out, on the opposite end of the room, there is going to be a new door that has opened, which will lead you upstairs to this balcony section, where you're going to come across the next boss, which is the sniper, who has laid down a bunch of traps. We're talking proximity traps, laser traps. So what you need to do is be extremely careful here. Switch between proning and crouching to get past these lasers to then defuse these bombs so you can make your way further across this platform to be able to get closer to the sniper and take it out it's very very easy in comparison to the rhino doesn't have a lot of health but it can one shot headshot you if it's perched up in a certain position just watching you and it is deadly accurate so be very careful but once you've taken it down it will have dropped a new key called the secure room key and you'll see there'll be a padlock marked on the map now where if you go over and use that key it opens a new secret room with a ton of amazing loot and the new complex weapon case so once you pick that up everyone that's still alive on the map will be able to see that in real time and track your movement so just be extremely 
careful. Now, if you're going for the weapon case, you'll want to make a quick getaway. And you'll see there are marked X full points on the map. But if you want to be extra secure, then you're going to want to find a layer two restricted zone key card, which you can find in loot, or you can buy from a buy station for $50,000. And around the map in the factory wing section, there'll be these secret doors at the end of hallways that you'll be able to unlock using that key card. And you will be able to go through a pretty intense amount of tier 3 AI coming at you. But it will eventually lead you to a upper floor area where there will be a exfil point. Which is a lot safer for you to use than the other exfils which are, you know, backtracking on where you've just been. And with the chance of coming across real players. It's something you just don't really want to do. On top of that, you can also find an alternative exit key. Which you can use at the doors to the side of the factory wing entrances in order to exit in a different way. You can bypass finding those keys entirely by bringing in a skeleton key into your DMZ run where you can open either door using the skeleton key. There are also other doors that you can open with the skeleton key, but you cannot open the door that needs the factory admin key using a skeleton key from my experience. There's a chance that could change in the future, but right now it just simply didn't work. We had to get the key from within the chemical plant. So about that broadside, let's go ahead and show you the build for it. So in the gunsmith, this is a setup that I have for it. I have the Gunner D20 barrel, the Bryson choke muzzle, the 12 gauge dragon's breath, the 25 shell drum magazine, and the dash bolt 60 bolt. These two combinations are absolutely deadly in this map. And even for the boss itself is insane. But even for real players, this thing is an absolute monster to have in your back pocket. But yeah, when used against the new Rhino boss, it is insane. Because if you try and take this thing down with any other weapons, it is one of the biggest bullet sponge bosses I've seen in any COD game. And we genuinely were shooting this thing for about three minutes before it died. It was just taking up so much. But with this, it just does so much damage that there's just no reason not to use it. That's my ultimate guide to the new complex in DMZ. If you found it useful, please leave a like rating and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll catch you very, very soon.